What's up guys, Mike the Coder here. Today we are gonna go over another Google interview question. Remove all ones with row and column flips. You're given a matrix of grid and in one operation you could choose any row or column and flip each value in that row or column. So we could change all the zeros to ones or we could change all the ones to zeros. Return true if it's possible to remove all ones from the grid using any number of operations or false otherwise. Okay, so um, how do you do this problem? So the thing about this problem is, is that there's really nothing, no way to do this problem unless without just going through a bunch of examples and then seeing if you find the pattern. And then once you have find the pattern, it gets pretty obvious on how to do it. So then, yeah, you will just be able to figure it out. So let's actually just go over the first example case. So let's actually bring a paint. Um, I would notice from looking at like the recording afterwards that my cursor doesn't actually get recorded for some reason. And I'm trying to look into that, but yeah, I don't know if I could fix that. I'll see if I could look into that though. But anyway, let's look at the first example. So we have this first example of the matrix of ones and zeros, right? So we have, Basically, the question is saying, we have this matrix of ones and zeros, and um, in one operation, we could either flip all the zeros to become ones or the ones to become zeros. So we could choose like any row or column to do that. So in this case, what they did was they chose this row, okay? And they just made flipped all the zeros to become ones and ones to be zeros. So here they made this to be zero, this to become one, and this become zero, okay? Then, yeah, so that's what that's how they got this. That's how they got this uh, this part here. Here, okay. So yeah, that's what they did. And then afterwards, they flipped this column, this uh, z the second column, right, or the second column, which is basically zero one, first index column. And they just made all these into zeros, right? So we could remember we could either flip all the zeros to become ones, or we and then the ones become zeros, right? Or we could yeah. We could flip all the zeros to become ones, or we could flip all the ones to be zeros. So yeah, so then after here, this they flipped the second column to be all zeros, and that's how they got this answer. So that's the first test case, and that's the reason why it returns true, is because what they did was they flipped all the middle row, and then they flipped the middle column. So flip all the zeros to become ones, and then yeah, yada yada, and then here, since they're all ones here, they flipped it, and it all becomes zeros. Let's look at the second test case and see why it's impossible, okay? So let's just look at the second test case. So this is the second test case. The second test case is this. So let's say, let's say if we try to just flip it. So um, let's just see, what, what if we just flip it? So let, let's take this and so here we're, we're just going to take this and we're just going to flip it. So let's say we just pick the first row and we flip it. So then this becomes zero, um, zero, and then this becomes one. Okay. Well, um, as you notice, once you flip the one, uh, like the first row and now they all become like zeros. Um, it doesn't really make any sense to flip it again, flip the first row again. Cause then if you flip the first row again, It'll just be go back to its original form, right? It'll just go back. Like if I flip, if I flip the first row, and I flipped it again, it'll go back to like being one one zero, right? It'll flip back to being one one zero, and that's not what you want. Like if I flip the first row again, and I flip it again, this becomes zero, this becomes zero, and this becomes one again. Um, yeah. The zero zero one would just become one one zero, and that gives you your original row again. So it makes no sense to flip the same row twice. So that's what you notice first part. Okay, so if I flip one row, it makes no sense to flip that row again. If 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 that makes any sense, right? Because then you're just gonna get the same thing twice. Another thing you realize is that um, we're trying to get to all zeros, right? I believe. So here, what we're trying to do 
Return true if it's possible to remove all ones from grid without using any number operations. So if we're trying to remove all ones from the grid and there's only ones and zeros, that means we're trying to get to all zeros in the end, right? So we saw there was a one here, so that it made sense to flip it, right? So then we come zero, zero, and then this, this zero became one, right? Because zero, ones become zeros and zeros become ones. There we have this. Now, um, if we try to flip the last column, as you, as you can see here now, we have um, a bunch of zeros, and the only thing that is left that is not a zero is this one here, right? The, the one here that we flipped. And the problem about that is that um, if I try to flip this, the one, the, the one, the column that has a one here, it's literally just going to give me the, so here, if I try to flip it again, all right, so we have zero, zero, one. So this is zero, zero, one, right? After flipping. Now I want to flip it. So then I, this becomes zero. This becomes one. This becomes one. Um, now that I flipped it again, I have more ones now. So if you realize by looking at this, it's literally impossible to get all zeros because in, we have, we have a one in the, we have like a one in the end here, right? We have a one in the end here. So it really makes no sense. It's impossible to get all zeros. Cause if we flip it, this one again, we're going to have more ones, right? In reality, what we want is all zeros. Okay. So yeah. So let's just go over the solution now, and I could explain. To so going back to what I said earlier is that basically what happens is that if we choose a row and we flip it, and um, flipping it again won't really do anything because we'll go back to original. So if we choose a row, what we can do for the algorithm is that we could choose a row, set a dependency, and like say okay. I'm just going to flip it. And um, if we have to flip it again, it means that it's not possible, right? So like in this case, if I had to flip this, it becomes zero, zero, one. And then I loop through it and try to, you know, just go through every row and just flip those values. If I have to flip this again, flip this first same row again, then it's just not possible because it just means that there's just no way to do it, right? So what we could do is we could go through every row and you could either do this by row or column. So I'm gonna do it by actually column. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go through each of these rows and we're just gonna flip the corresponding column that has a one in it. So if there's a one in this, this way, so if we look at the first row, if there's a one, we're just gonna flip the corresponding column. So let's actually flip this column and then it will become, um, I'll just quickly get rid of this. Yeah. Okay. Whoops. Too far. So let's say we flip, we look, we go through this row and we see, Hey, is there a one here? Yeah, there is a one. So what we're going to do is we're just going to flip the column. So it becomes zero, one, one. Okay. And then we go to the next one. We see a one. Yeah. We see a one. So we're just going to flip. So we see a one in this row, right? We see a one in this row. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip the column. So I'm just gonna paste the exact same thing here in the next iteration. So now I'm gonna flip the, this column, flip, flip this column, zero, one, one. So this is gonna be zero, one, one and then yeah and then the next one it's all zeros so that's fine so here we for the first row we literally just flipped all the zeros uh, all the ones to become zeros all right so now they are zeros and then um now what we're going to do is we're just going to check if we had to flip the same thing again by going through the next row and seeing if we have to flip it again so if we did have to flip it again we just have to then it's not possible so if we see another one here and we have to flip this column again, it's not possible. So then we just return false. So there's a way to check that, um, checking that instead of looping it again. So if you look here, here's the solution of a code that I'll be honest, I didn't, I didn't actually thought of this solution myself, but this is a solution that someone else had to had. Okay. So here, 
Um, we first loop through from zero to the number of rows. And here, what we're doing is that we're going to actually just check the um, corresponding the zeroth row and check its corresponding each of its corresponding columns actually. So here, here um, zero one is the zero one is the uh, each of these grid zero zero. It's just going to check all the the values looping from in this specific row in the zeroth row. And then it's seeing, hey, is there a one there? Then if there is, then we'll flip the corresponding column. So that's what this is doing. Then we'll flip that column. And to flip it, they just loop through from J equals zero to the um, corresponding, there's M rows and N columns, right? So we're just gonna loop through the corresponding rows here and just say, hey, J of I is just gonna equal to not J of I. So this is what this is gonna do is it's gonna flip the zero to become one and one to become zero. So this is looping from zero to n. So that's that's this part. That's these values, okay? That's these values. That's what the loop is doing. So it flips those that col column. So now the rest of the rows should either be all zeros or all ones. And if it's not, then it's impossible to find a solution, okay? So for here, what they did checked is literally just check the sum for the other other rows is to see if it's all zeros or ones. So if you look here in this, uh, after we flip them, did he, what he's going to do is he's going to just loop through from here to here and just check the sum of each of these rows. So here, the sum here is two and it's definitely not all zeros or all ones, right? It's definitely not zero and it's definitely not a one. So this is definitely false, right? It's definitely not possible. And then, yeah, it would just return false. So to do that, um, they loop from one to the number of um, rows, one to the number of rows, and that's that's this part, right? It's going through these, like number of rows here. And yeah, uh, they're looping from one, so they're gonna loop only these, these parts, right? The bottom part. And they're gonna loop from J is zero, so from here to the end. And they're just gonna add up the sum. And if it's not, equal to zero and it's not equal to M, which is like the length of this length of the number of columns, then it's a false. Okay. So basically it either has to be all zeros or all ones for that corresponding row. Okay. So if it's all ones, then the, the sum should equal to the length of the total number of rows, a total number of columns, right? So if this was all ones, it would be one plus one plus one it would be three. So it would equal to the total number of rows of three. So total number of columns of three. So it would return, it would return, um, it would be M, right? It would be M. So since it's not equal to that and it's not equal to zero, it would return false. Okay. So yeah, that's what this code would do. And yeah, in the end it would just return true, return true. So yeah, um, this is not, pretty difficult to understand. It's not that difficult to understand. Um, to do this problem, it really just requires just going through different test cases and just seeing if you could figure this problem out. Um, yeah. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later.